Hey there, Trekkers and Trekkies. So you remember uh, a little while back, we looked at some uh, Tiki Tiki Totem Star Trek wooden stackable figures. Well, it's time to do part two. The next generation. So, obviously, don't need to rehash everything that's weird about these figures as far as the... Uh, uh -huh. borrowing of the the totem representation but these are kind of cool first up captain jean luc picard wooden stackable figure there's the box not going to show you the back too long cuz there are three more figures not as many as the original series got. Original series got six figures they left Chekhov out for some reason. But for next gen, they were like, you know what? We're, uh, we're only going to take the really cool people. Ooh, this one's going to be a fun one. I'm not holding that up to the microphone. Because then somebody wearing headphones will get all ticked off. Because that's loud noise. So... Just like the previous figures. I feel like my light. There, that's a little better. Was, of course, Captain Picard's very light, pale skin, pale skin man. Oh, look, they got the little, the little shoulder V on there. And on the front, we've got the, uh, the black cutouts. He's still, his hand is still covering his comm badge on the back. Yes, they've got the back correct, too. Very nice. And... They're going to put some little lines in there for his hair. Oh, well. But face is excellent. Look at that. That is Patrick Stewart's eyes falling off the screen. Looking deep, deep into your camera. Okay. Captain Picard. So, obviously, you'd think, well, they would do, you know, the first officer. No, screw freaks. We're going to go to Data. Yeah, that's right. There's no, there's no Riker. We've got Picard. We got Data. Look at that Data. That's a Brent Spiner right there, if I ever saw one. Oh, these packages are definitely tighter. than the uh, original series packages were. Let me sit. There is our data. Again, the camera's not going to like this one because he's so pale-skinned. I should... There, that helped. Yeah, they did a pretty good job on this. This is actually probably the, the weakest of the paint jobs. I mean, it still it still represents Brent Spiner's face. The eyes are mostly good. I'll I'll accept it. I'll accept it. All right, now he's going to go stand on Captain Picard's head. Now, so we've skipped Riker, gone on to Data, who would be next? You'd probably be thinking Counselor Troy. You'd be wrong. It's Geordi. That's right. Lieutenant Commander Geordi LaForge. Now this one goes back to some sort of an issue that I had with the uh, original series ones. Which is, they had an opportunity to make a 3D element. And they didn't. And if you haven't figured out what I'm talking about, it's his visor. It would have been so cool to just have a little block. Kind of like the way that the ears are. That went around and was painted to look like the visor. But, nope, they didn't do that. You know, I just realized, 
there's he's you can see his collar you can see it on D Jordy okay well you can see the collar on all of them I didn't I thought it was just solid black underneath there so yeah that, that again they got all the uh, the aspects of it right stack them up so after Jordy who would be next? Well, you'd probably think Dr. Crusher is obviously next. Well, then you would be wrong. Because for some reason, everybody ignores Dr. Crusher. I've never understood that. Dr. Crusher is a good character. I like her. But for some reason in merchandising, they hate her. Playmates didn't even put out a Dr. Crusher in Wave 1. They did the other six characters. No. No, Dr. Crusher, she skipped the season. So, we're going to leave her out. Uh, don't get it. Now this one, again, now this one I kind of understand why they didn't do a little thing for the bandolier, but it still would have looked cool to have just that little elevated piece. Would have been even better if they could have done the texture on it but it is it's what's what it is um oh the hair comes down all the way around got his bandolier on the back over coming over his shoulder i like that and the face paint job now the one thing that's a little odd is everybody else looks straight forward wharf is like looking off and to the left up like oh What's, what's up over there? Which makes him look a little bit like some sort of uh, Asian, you know, Japanese anime kind of. He look, he's, out of all of them, this is the worst about looking like an anime character. No, the others I'm now looking at going, oh man, Captain Picard does look a little anime. But this wharf is really... I will protect you, Captain. I will fight the Gorn. Oh. Um, I'm sorry, that was horrible. <laughs> so anyways, I wonder if I can get all these stacked. Oh, it just fits on camera. Let me, we'll raise the camera just a hair. There we go. Now, obviously, this one is not going to be a big a deal having it balanced. Now, if I tried to take and stack this on top of that original series one, because that would be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I'd probably want to put a little bead of glue between each one to get them to stand properly. And not fall over at the slightest you know, bump of a desk or a table or whatever you've got them sitting on. But these would definitely look cool. And the good thing about the next gen, these four for the next gen ones, is that they're not quite as generic looking. You know, the only one of the original series ones that really stood out was Spock. Whereas you've got three super distinct characters in Worf, Geordi, and Data. And then, of course, most people nowadays will recognize Patrick Stewart's face. So, good choices on those. I realize it would have been cool to have Riker, Troy, Crusher. But, I guess it is what it is. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Um, I hope... You have enjoyed this look at these. And I uh, suppose I could take and do this number for our end for the ending. I should. <laughs> the way my lights are in here. <laughs> the 
the card was too close to the bright light. There we go. Now you can't hardly see Wharf. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this look at these. Um, that's, well, I do sort of technically have something else that's similar. Um, that we're going to have to uh, get around to at some point. Because I do have something I want to do as a giveaway in the near future that uh, some some viewer is going to get a freebie sent to them. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed these and this silly little look at some silly little tiki figures or totem figures, tiki, tiki, tiki totem figures. I kind of have to wonder about that. Oh, well. Go out and make something. If you enjoy my videos and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Also, you can support the show by signing up on Patreon, or head over to Zazzle to pick up prints of my artwork, prints on canvas, t-shirts, and other merch. You can find me on social media. For more information and updates on the channel, all info is below. If you didn't enjoy the video, why are you still here? Do you want a song? Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, them, yes, them, three bags full. One for the master who can screw himself. You can listen to somebody else.